Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about diode logic gates. Okay, now let's start with the puzzle here. Uh, this is the circuit and we have 5 volt here and also positive 5 volt here. Now the question is, is the diode forward biased or it is reverse biased? Uh, we know that in case of a uh, normal diode, there has to be a 0.7 volt more on the anode side uh, for the diode to conduct. But in case of an ideal diode, since there is no barrier potential, therefore, uh, even if the voltages are equal on both sides, the, the diode will become forward biased. Now, uh, but this could be puzzling as we say here that uh, uh, we can see that uh, 5 volt is here and 5 volt here. Will it be forward bias or reverse bias? Now in that case, it is better that we assume the analysis of uh, uh, N and OR gates is ma made easier by using the approximate equivalent for the diode rather than ideal because we can stipulate that the voltage across the diode must be 0.7 volt positive. So if we assume that we need 0.7 volt more here, that is in this case you need 5.7 volt for this diode to conduct. So if it is not 5.7 volt, then it is uh, will not conduct. So we, we, we got to keep that part in mind uh, in case we are uh, in this type of a situation. So need actually 5.7, 5 plus 0.7 to overcome, so 5.7 volt to make uh, this forward bias. And so as, as it is now, we will say that the diode is reversed bias. Okay, now diodes together with resistors can be used to implement digital logic functions as shown here. So there are diodes and uh, the resistors and the question we are going to answer is which gate is this representing. Now, voltage values close to zero volt correspond to zero logic. So we know that for zero logic we got to have zero volt or maybe uh, 1 volt or sometimes it, it goes up to 1.3 uh, or 1.5 volt, they are all considered zero. And any voltage close to 5 volt, uh, that will be considered as 1 or high level. Okay, now this is the circuit. The first question is what will be the voltage here? Now, how do we determine this? And I think if we look here, since this is 5 volt, anode is 5 volt, and the cathode is grounded through this resistance, therefore this diode is forward bias, this is also forward bias, and this is also forward bias. So I have drawn it by the short circuit, short circuiting the diode. So this 5 volt will directly come at this part. And so we can say that the output is 5 volt. Next, now let's see. Okay, so now in talk, talking in terms of a binary, we can see that the input is 5 volt, 5 volt. So it is actually in binary 1, 1, 1. And output is also 5 volt, so output is also 1. So this is uh, one, one result that we get or one option that we have. So when all three one, then output is one. And now from this we cannot say whether the diode is OR gate or AND gate because this is true for AND gate and OR gate both. So let's do some more options. Now here one of the diode is grounded and so the diagram will be something like this that these two are forward biased but this is reverse bias so open and this forward bias will make this terminal 5 volt. So now in terms of a logic gate we can write as 1, 1 and 0. 
So 1, 1 and 0 is the input, but the output is 5 volt, that is 1. So it is 1, 1, 0, output 1. So now from here we can conclude that this is an OR gate, not an AND gate. Uh, and let's do a couple of more options. Now here two of the gates are grounded. So still we'll get 5 volt because this one is connected. And the logic will now be 1, 0, 0. 1 0 0 and output is 1 and finally uh, if we have all three connected to ground that means all three are reversed bias and so the input is 0 and output is also 0 so input is 0 and since all three are reversed bias therefore this point will now be 0 so this is 0 so this logic is I'm sure you know this is for the OR gate logic. So we'll say that this is an OR gate. Let's see this option. Now here the anode is connected towards this side and cathode uh, with the uh, left hand side. We'll proceed with the same type of a logic. First of all, we make all three ground. Then here we are making two ground and one VCC. Then one ground and two VCC and uh, all three VCC or five volt. And from here, with the same logic now, we can see that in this case, all three are forward bias because this is five and these are ground. So all three are forward bias. And for bias means that there, this point is now connected to ground. So the output will be zero. Output will be zero. And so we can say that input is zero, that is zero, 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 and output is also zero. So this is one of the logic. Now, in this case, these two are uh, forward bias. So we draw the line, short circuit, and this is a reverse bias. Now, this is we have applied 5 volt here so that is making this diode as reverse bias as we discussed that here is 5 and here is 5 so just keep in mind that this has to be 0.7 more so if it was 0.5 5.7 then it would have been forward bias but since they are equal therefore this will be reverse bias and so uh, these two are grounded these two are grounded this terminal will have now this voltage uh, no, th sorry this terminal has 5 volt here vc is 5 volt and the output is still connected to ground so the output will be zero so output zero in the third case this one is connected so this is ground and the other two are one so zero one one and because of this the output is zero or grounded so this is the logic uh, level and now in, in this case all three are reverse bias and so we have all three one and this terminal is no more connected to ground so this terminal or this point will have the same voltage as the uh, top voltage because there is no current flowing and nothing will be dropped across this resistor so this is 5 volt and 5 volt means one logic so this is all three input one and output one and you know that this logic is now for AND gate when all the inputs are one and output is only then one then this is a logic of AND gate now i had a lot of confusion as to uh, from the figure as to guess whether this is AND gate or OR gate so i have just for my convenience i have found a way and i'll share with you that in this case if you see the, if we call output to be O and you can see the anodes are connected to O so if we write it like this anode and the red color is O if we uh, if we minus it then it becomes A and D and gate so this is one way to memorize uh, but you can find your own way Okay, now let's see example 4.2. Uh, assuming the doubts to be ideal, find the value of I and V in this circuit. 
Now this current is I and the voltage here is B and the difference between the two circuits is the resistance here 10K here it is 5 and in the other case it is 5 on the left and 10 on the right. So let's do circuit number 1 first of all. Let's look at this. In these circuits it might not be obvious at the first sight whether none, one or both diodes are conducting. So you cannot really say because this anode is connected to ground. This diode we don't know what is the potential here and what is the potential here and therefore for sure we cannot say which is conducting. So our technique will be to guess or assume and then uh, verify whether the, our assumption is correct or not. So here we are assuming that both the diodes are conducting. So we represented them by short circuit. And now if you see this voltage is VB. This is zero because it is directly connected to ground. So VB is zero. And this voltage is also directly connected to ground. So it will also be zero. So V is also zero. Now we find the current through this diode. Now the current is flowing from here, this short and here to ground. So we can say 10 minus 0 divided by 10k is 1 milliampere is I2. Uh, and now if we write the node equation here, this is current entering, this is current uh, entering, and this current is leaving. So I plus I do is 1 milliampere is equal to leaving. Now this is 0, 0 minus minus 10 divided by 5. So 0 minus minus 10 divided by 5. And this is actually equal to 2. So I plus 1 is equal to 2. And therefore I is equal to 1 milliampere. Now, since we have found an acceptable value of current and voltage, so the current was 1 milliampere, which is acceptable. Voltage V could be 0, which is also acceptable. So we conclude that our assumption was correct. Now, you may try by assuming uh, different values, this one open, this one short, etc. And you will uh, end up with the same result. And that we will see in the next problem. Uh, let's go there. So the conclusion we draw here that D1 is conducting as originally assumed and the final value is I is 1 milliampere and V is 0 volt. Okay, now we come to second number 2 and here also we will assume that both are short circuited initially. And when both are short circuited, therefore, again, we conclude that VB will be zero and V zero will also be zero through this path. Now, same way, we now find the current. Now, this current is from here, so 10 uh, minus zero divided by now, this is 5K. So, this is 5K, sir. The current I do is 2 milliampere. Again, we write the node equation. So the node equation is this current entering and I D entering and this is leaving. So I plus 2 is equal to 0 minus minus 10 divided by 10, which is equal to 1 milliampere. So I plus 2 is equal to 1 milliampere and therefore from here we can say I is minus 1 milliampere. This 2 will go here and become minus. Now, now this is not possible. Why not possible? Okay, if we, if we uh, redraw uh, this diagram, so this is like minus 10 volt here. We have a resistance and we have a ground. And if we 
take the current from the positive terminal and going like this. So touching this point will make it positive and this is negative. And now if we write the KVA equation, so going from here we have a positive sign, so positive 10, then is a negative sign, so negative i into 10k is equal to 0 and therefore i is equal to plus 5. So according to this circuit, i should be plus 5, but we are getting i to be minus 5 and therefore this is not possible. So we conclude that our assumption is not correct. So what next? Let's assume another thing. We now assume that this diode is instead of being short, it is open or it is reversed bias. So we make it open and the other remains as short and now let's see uh, if we can find a correct answer. Same way now ID2 since this is open the current will now flow from here to this circuit and so it will be 10 minus minus 10 this 10 minus minus 10 and divided by the two resistances in the path 15 so ID2 will now be 1.33 this is id2 and the voltage at node b now this voltage here will be how much so this voltage will be the current drop in this plus this voltage so 10 into id2 so 10 into 1.33 and plus minus 10 so minus 10 so vb will be 3.3 so this is 3.3 and so will be V 3.3 so V will also be 3.3 and how much is I since this is an open circuit so I will be 0 so I will be 0 and this is a reasonable solution acceptable solution since we have found an acceptable value of I V we conclude that our assumption is correct so now whatever we had assumed that this is uh, open or the reverse bias and this is forward bias and the current and voltages that is correct now. So thus D1 is reverse bias as assumed and the final value is I is equal to 0 and V is equal to 3.3. So I hope uh, this gives you an idea as to how we can proceed step by step with assumption. Thank you very much.